Council President Herb J. Wesson Jr. represents the 10th District on the Los Angeles City Council and was formerly voted Speaker of the California State Assembly. But of course, you can read about that on Wikipedia. He can recite the state constitution from memory, even the parts that have been abolished. He can drive the 405 from Ventura Boulevard to Long Beach in 25 minutes at any time of day. His dance moves have started trends in each of the last four decades. He once started the engine of a 69 Mustang convertible using sheer charisma. Without him, soul food would simply be known as food. Comparing him with Napoleon is a compliment to Napoleon. He is Council President Herb Wesson, Man of the Year. probably replace Jay Leno. Uh, <laughs> he is great at stand-up. He's hilarious. I remember when he got elected speaker, he said, it's not about me, it's about we. He, he's always very supportive of the priorities and the needs of his members. So I expect he's going to be council president until he doesn't want to be. My mother-in-law and I have always said that we raised a great politician together. Herb has always been a family man that has always been first. So yes, family is a huge part of Herb and his success. Uh, I also happen to live in uh, council member of Preston's district. I hear from him every every four years <laughs> when he's up for re-election. I mean, I'll see him with his posse because he doesn't walk without a posse. And you think he's like uh, the president with a posse around him. When I landed here, uh, the first place I stayed uh, was in the district that I'm currently blessed to represent. This is where my family is. The, this is where my friends are. This is the city, and these are the people that I love. Council President Herb Wesson, well, when I think of him, I, I realize, you know, he really defines the word statesman. He has accepted and realized that in Los Angeles, you have to get everyone of every ethnic background to work together if you want to move forward. Work for you know, Supervisor Ron Burke to be a chief of staff in the county, uh, and then finally got elected to the state assembly. And he wasn't happy with just being an assemblyman. He had to run the place, and so he became the speaker. These are tough times, and tough times require people who are willing to make tough decisions. And, Herbie is willing to make those decisions. That's, that's been his legacy, as far as I've known him, is to be able to uh, meet the challenge of getting the job done, whatever it is, in terms of helping the community, in terms of uh, providing resources to the community, uh, being a mentor to young people. He really loves what he does. He loves coming to work. He loves getting that mission accomplished. And what turns me on the most, making the people smile, is to go somewhere where people complain that nothing has ever happened. I've been trying to get this traffic signal. I've been trying to get this stop sign. I've been trying to get this park, you know, re refurbished. And to succeed at those things, just like that commercial, that's priceless. A, a community leader, a political leader, should have tangible manifestations of the service that he has rendered and he should be able to point uh, to accomplishments in the community that he has had a part in bringing to pass. And I think Mr. Herb Wesson would be pointing all up and down Crenshaw and all back and forth in our community because he has helped so many organizations like Los Angeles and our CDC in accomplishing the things that we've been blessed to accomplish. We could not have done a lot of the work that we've done with West Angeles Plaza without his leadership, without his support, without his uh, vision for knowing that it could happen. You know, today, you know, I'm being interviewed in on uh, you know, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday when he spoke about having a dream. Herb is that living proof of living that dream. But what's more important is that he also helped others live their dreams. So we salute, we celebrate Herb Wesson as Man of the Year.